Hello everyone, my name is Joshua Winkins and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create this really cool streak effect in Final Cut Pro 10. Now, as you can see right here, here is the editing breakdown to the actual effect. You create this really cool streak effect. Now, this is just a very simple um, little example. Of course, there are plenty of different ways um, to actually use this effect, but I kind of just want to at least make you aware of that this effect even exists. So let's go ahead into the effects panel right here, and I'll go ahead and I'll just disable it right here. So on top of it here is an adjustment layer. So let's go ahead and head to all, go down to the search bar and type in streak. Now streaks is a, a different like effect under the lights category. So let's go ahead and just apply streaks. So you want to just type it into um, the effects window. So let's go ahead and wait for it to render a little bit and let's go ahead and play it right here. As you can see right here, it creates this really, really cool streak effect. Now you probably want to use this effect. This may not be the greatest example, but you definitely want to use this effect when somebody is in motion. You can definitely use it when someone's stationary, but it'll look a lot cooler when someone's in motion. If you watch the NFL at all, a lot of times they'll have that intro where they'll have like a couple players running in a direction, a certain direction, and they'll have like this really cool streak behind them. And I've always wanted to know kind of how to create this effect, and now I know how to create this effect. So as you can see right here, this is the one that we already, this is one of the intro now let's go ahead and just mess with it right here so as you can see right here you can mess with the color you can mess with any different color um, you want now this is the Kansas City Chiefs so I thought red is probably the best color you can go ahead and mess with the different angles um, you can go ahead and just mess with whatever angle you want most likely it's probably just 180 in a certain direction so let's go ahead and let's just, actually let's just rotate this because this, he's kind of running this way a little bit this might again this might be the best example but you can see he's kind of um, running this way a little bit so it kind of makes sense to have this streak effect now you may ask yourself okay well that's way too powerful I can't even see the actual person so what you're going to do is you gonna go ahead and head into the settings and you can mess with a whole bunch of different settings uh, so, so you can mess with the variation. I don't think that, as you can see, it really do, doesn't really do that much. Um, you can mess with the glow. I think with this one, I'm trying to kind of copy the settings up here. I kind of turn the glow down a little bit. Obviously, it depends on what look you're trying to achieve. And then you could mess with the threshold. Um, you probably don't want it to look like that. So you probably want to keep it back at where at the normal, uh, the normal settings. Uh, so let's go ahead and mess with thickness. You can make it skinny or you can make it really thick. Uh, let's go kind of, kind of, kind of like copying my settings up here. And then I think the biggest one is let's go ahead and just play it right here, and let's see how it looks. Wait for it to render a little bit. Now let's see how it looks. Now I think that looks a lot better than what how, than how it was looking in the beginning. So that definitely looks a lot better, but let's go ahead and mess with it one more time. And that is the amount. Now up here, I've changed the amount to 40. So let's increase this to 100, and obviously zero means absolutely nothing. So let's say, let's go ahead and just kind of mess, leave it where it was. As you can see right there, Let's go ahead and wait for it to render a little bit and let's just play and see um, how it looks. So let's go ahead and play it right here. As you can see right there, that looks a lot better. So let's go ahead and disable it right here and then enable it right there. As you can see, as it looks like, and then this is the new one we created. That definitely looks really, really cool. And that's pretty much it. That's just a streak effect. Go to the effects panel and just type in a streak. And there you go. You created this really cool streak effect. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you want to see more Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I upload new Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every single day. I also have a playlist of Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials with over 90 different tutorials. See you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.